Looks kind of steep. Yeah, I think we'll stick to the path. This may sound crazy, but what if saving our doubles from execution is how we save ourselves? That thing only came for me after my lookalike died. Anything here not falling apart? Fireflies. That's what's causing the glow. What is that light? Looks kind of beautiful, don't you think? Never thought I'd say that about anything here. Apologies for the lateness of the hour, but I must speak with you. What ails you, my friend? It is Mary. I am troubled by her, by the part she has played in these trials. Those trials trouble us all. There is more to this. I saw her smile as her own sister was executed. She took pleasure from it. Are you certain? I am. But now that she speaks of guilt and remorse, it is hard not to believe her. Keep away from her, Abraham. No good can come from being with that child. Too late. With her brother and sister gone, Mary now lives under my roof. Your charity places you in grave danger. What do you advise? Tell the court you suspect she toys with us all. That you saw her delight in her own sister's death. I implore you. I am torn. Mary seems full of Keep remorse. Your suspicions to yourself, and it's our community which will suffer. None of us is safe from her wild imaginings. Very well. If the court will listen, I will speak. I am bewitched. You're not bewitched. How else can your presence be explained? I, I can't explain this, but you're not. She has conjured you to defend her. To press me into silence. Only the devil could create a demon who so resembles me. I'm not a demon. But we do look alike, which I agree is pretty damn weird. What do you want from me? I want to know what you're going to say to the court. About Mary. I was decided to speak to the court. Now I'm not so sure. Tell the court what the girl has done. It's what your friend asked of you. The devil has sent you to tempt me. I must not succumb. Little Hope is no longer the town I knew. Strange and disturbing events have become commonplace. You, whatever you are, are but one of these. Revealing the truth about Mary may save my friend, but it does not sit easily with me that in doing so I condemn a child. Putting it all on a kid isn't right. The priest is the one driving this whole thing. Are you serious? The girl is the one we need to stop, not anyone else. Reverend Carver is a man guided by God. No one can doubt that. What the hell were you thinking speaking up for that kid? You may have just sentenced us both to death. I don't know what's right or wrong anymore. Nothing here makes sense. Mary is no ordinary child. If we want to get out of this, she has to be stopped.
Maybe we'll see him again. Get him to change his mind. I made the right call. I have no doubts. We are seeing glimpses of what happened here hundreds of years ago. Never thought I'd say this, but I feel real connected with those guys. Fuck this town and fuck that stupid ass crash for dumping me here. <laughs> Get out of here. Let's check that out. It'll get us out of these damn woods, and we can talk on the way. Whatever that thing was, I think it's gone. What went on back there? No clue. Whatever we saw back there, or thought we saw, we're still in grave danger. There must be something we can do. Mary's in the middle of all this, that I'm certain of. We don't know for sure that stopping Mary will help us out. 
It's just a theory. It may only be a theory, but right now it's all we've got. Come on. Let's take a look. Oh, I'm having deja vu. Me too. I recognize this place. There's a way in here! Hey! They're coming! You can't keep running! I'll make sure they'll find you! That guy's a menace. I don't think he gets how bad a mess we're in. Come on, inside! been here for a long time. Now is my time to speak before the judge. Maybe we're finally getting somewhere. I am filled with dread. I cannot know how my testimony will be received. The devil has blinded so many to what is real and what is not. Nothing good will come of this. His words will seek to twist the truth. Allow me to judge what is true. Abraham and Joseph are allies in this deception. And lest we forget, you condemned Joseph to death only yesterday. Or do you now question that decision? I have heard nothing today to sway my conviction. Joseph consorted with the same malicious force as his wife. For this, the court thanks Reverend Carver, who faced the devil's wrath to present the evidence. It is only my duty, Judge. Now, however, this court is duty-bound by law to seek out the truth. We must therefore examine these claims made by Abraham against Mary. If I may speak briefly, Judge Wyman. Time is short, Reverend. Be indeed brief. Mary has shown great fortitude to speak out against the evil here. Many would have lacked her courage. Yet her reward for exposing this brooding covered in our midst is to be besmirched. Her courage is not in question. It is her intent we must be certain of. Her accuser is the very man entrusted to care for this innocent child. Plain to see, he is not fit for such a task. And I would ask the court to have Mary placed elsewhere. Who would you have be her new ward, Reverend? 
I am prepared to take responsibility for the child. If the court agrees. First, the court must hear what Abraham has to say. No decision can be made on the child until then. Abraham! What am I to do? Some would have me speak out against Mary, but could a child truly be capable of such evil? I understand your dilemma. The consequences couldn't be more serious, but the girl is so young. Tell the court what you have come here to say. Speak up, boy. Out with it! Mary has spoken of evil spirits, devilry and witchcraft. Things many cannot believe could exist here in the I'm Little not Hope. here for history and hearsay. Get to the point, boy. Mary is tormented. The apparitions she has seen, they have plagued her. Stolen her innocence. Some suggest she is in league with these creatures, but no one can be certain. Myself, least of all. Can any of us truly know a child's mind? You claim I lack the ability to see the truth. I beg forgiveness. I would never suggest such a thing. My time is not for wasting. You and the priest have irked me enough for one day. I have more to say. I have already given you enough time. Furthermore, Mary is to be placed into the care of Reverend Carver. Now stand down. So, what happened? Did the little devil child get nailed? I saw Abraham, my double. He told the judge that Mary did nothing wrong, like she's the victim here. Okay, so now what? This helps us, has to. We now know for sure that we can alter what happens. Seriously? We can change the friggin' past? Okay. Looks like we can make a difference, but we shouldn't get ahead of ourselves. Nothing here can be taken for granted. Whatever's out there, it still wants Taylor. We have to go. Now. my dad in pants like that. Looks like a heartbreak to me.
Andrew, get over here and help me. What's up? I'll push from this end, you from the other. Okay. Everything you got. Professor, are you okay? <sighs> Professor, are you hurt? Uh, I'm okay. Just about. Uh, no way back up. I'll look for a way out down here. Okay. We'll meet up at the back of the building.
Sure. See you out there. Hey, Professor! We'll see you outside, okay? Professor? Hope you're okay. Andrew? You up there? I'm up here! <laughs> Am I pleased to see you? Same here. See Mary while we've been apart? No, nothing. You? Me neither. I've seen this before. That's real hatred. Wonder what the guy did. In the fog there. You see that? Stay on your toes. Anything could happen. No one in Little Hope is safe while you still draw breath, Joseph. You must die today. Not even your wife Amy was spared your lust to serve Satan. Damn me if you must. You're not fit. Speaking of my late wife. There is still fight in you. I must drive the devil out for the safety of everyone here. Oh, no one is safe. Joseph, do you renounce the devil and all his teachings? <laughs> In no sin. I'm no disciple of the devil. 
I'll tell as you fetch you in madness. Roy, you but six servants. We have to stop this. Get away. You give me that! Look! See how this poor child is tormented. Joseph still clutches her with the devil's hand. More stones! The devil must be crushed from within him. Do not flinch. The fate of little Orp rests in your hands. What happened? Tell me. We don't have a lot of time. John, get away from it! I can't get away from this thing! I'm not letting what happened to Daniel happen to me! Are you crazy? We gotta move! Come on, you fuck! I'm ready! out of here alive hey we're not dead yet place looks like it burnt down something here isn't right something isn't right is this shitty town's motto
What was that? Gotta be the girl. Let's go find her. She's in here. What the hell? 
stay here. Hey, Bigfoot, find the goddamn vital, will you? Andrew, what's going on? No, wait. You protect me. You must. Wait, this isn't right. No way. I assure all gathered here today that our town will be free of the devil's grasp. Together, by God's grace, little hope will prevail. My word on it. This court is hastily convened, but with good reason. If we are to finally rid ourselves of the evil which has infested Little Hope, then we must act today. I accuse you, Mary, of witchcraft. What say you, Reverend? The evidence, as discovered through my investigation, is beyond question. Mary uses her puppet as a familiar to summon and serve the devil. God help us. We have been deceived by a child, by her guise of innocence. This puppet was mistakenly used to denounce Tabitha. But it has always belonged to Mary, and Mary alone. She allowed her own kin to be executed as she watched in silence. That is not so. Liar! Now this tenth child, this creature of Satan, has the marrow to accuse me, a man of God, of wrongdoing. This is crazy. These people have lost their freaking minds. It was never my intention to bring harm to this town or its people. Can you not help me? What can I do? If I could do something to stop this, I would, but now in her hour of greatest need, I this child know. of the damned pleads once more for the Wait. devil's help. I beg the court's indulgence. Please guide me at this time. This I seek your counsel. We have to stop this. The only madness is right here in this court. Carver, he's the evil one. We have been swayed by malice. The truth hidden from us, but not by Mary. Reverend Carver is the one urging us to believe in the devil. Be silent. This is all You'll his You'll not deceive doing. us any longer. Your true purpose is plain to see. I will see this town purged of all evil. You're messing this up. Carver isn't the one you should be calling out. What must I do to bring Little Hope back into the line? I fear the Reverend and what he's capable of. You have to stop Carver. It's him, don't you get it? He's condemning Mary to take the heat off himself. I know what must be done here. Be still. What is the meaning of this outrage? What I have just learned sickens me to my core. There are serious questions which must be asked of you. How can a man of God conduct himself in such a way? Mary, your suffering is at an end. You are free to leave. Fool! Misled by a child! Do you not see what she is? The truth stares at you from the depths of hell, yet you see nothing! The devil's daughter has deceived you all! Not me! I see her! I see her! Satan's whore! You will pay heavily for your crimes! I was one of the first to fall under your spell. Now all of Little Hope is mesmerized by you! I have not the words. Without you, I would be dead. You saved me. I shall remember you all my days. But I didn't save you. You did it. It worked. It did? 100% you made the right call. That jerk of a priest was the real bad guy. 
Sure, yeah. I mean, I should feel great, uh, but I don't, I, I, I feel nothing. Come on, let's get out of here.
Thought you'd be here. Leave me alone, will ya? I've lost everything. You've lost everything? Are you kidding me? Just get out of here. Go away! You should have stayed away. I'll never forget or forgive you for what you did. There he is! There's a fucking killer! You mean Angela? That was an accident. I thought she was one of those things. You seem a little confused. traffic through Little Hope. You okay, buddy? You seem a little confused. Yeah, I'm fine. I just want to get these folks to where they need to be. I doubt a short delay will trouble them too much. Just shut up! This isn't helping us find help or getting us out of here. Hi there. How you doing? Excuse me, but we're uh, looking for our bus driver. What? Have you seen him? That's funny. Sounds like you could use a drink. Better not, thanks. I need to keep a clear head. You shouldn't be drinking right now. I don't think it's a good idea. Drinking's all I got left. You, you take a goddamn shot at me? Quit hiding in there! Hey, cool it. I was, I was trying to help. Didn't you see that thing? What are you talking about? Ain't nothing out here. Hey! They're coming. I don't think he gets how bad a mess we're in. That's it. Game over. You're done. For now, at least. You could always try again, see if you can get a different result. That's the problem with demons. If you don't lay them to rest, they will haunt you forever. Not a very happy ending. Or maybe it is. Depends on what makes you happy, really. And you eventually found him. The bus driver. Maybe he can now put the past behind him.
till we meet again. Maybe in the South Pacific, or the Arabian Desert, or somewhere else. But we will meet again. At least one more time. Drop the flesh right off in your frame The earth and worms both have their claim 